All right, so the case finally arrived today. It's the Cooler Master Q500L. This will be my very first case transplant video. Let's get to it. Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the most underrated PC building YouTube channel. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Today I bring you the $300 USD case swap budget gaming PC. Not only will this PC play esports title on low to medium settings in 1080p with 100 plus FPS, it will also play some more intensive titles like Apex Legends at 1080p with a smooth 60 FPS. Now before I get to the parts list, please click on that subscribe button, it's free and it doesn't bite. With that being said, let's get to the video. In today's video, I'll be transplanting this computer into this case plus a graphics card and a hard drive. Here, I'll talk about the specs real quick. So this is a Asus desktop. It's like pretty small. It has an i7-3770 inside, 4 cores, 8 threads, still pretty good for budget gaming. And it has a 240GB SSD inside, which is pretty good considering the price I got it for. And on top of that, it includes 16GB of DDR3. And you don't see any power supply here, right? That means I'm going to use the power supply in here. And this is where this comes in. I bought this vinyl uh, carbon fiber wrapping paper. So, because the uh, inside of the power supply is silver and the case is black, right? So I wanted to look nice. So I'm going to cover the silver ugly <clears throat> power supply with this. Hopefully it'll turn out good. And I was able to get this for just $120. That's pretty good considering 4 core 8 threads. You could use this as a work PC even without the graphics card. But we're building a gaming PC today. So let's get to the other parts. So what we have here is the Novo Nest um, 3 pack ARGB fan with the controller. As you can see it's translucent and it's RGB which is pretty good. And it's only 25 bucks on Amazon right now. There's two different versions. There's a translucent one and there's a black uh, shell one with the ring that's RGB. So for the next part we have, I'm going to add this 500 gigabyte hard drive into the build so you can store the games and other stuff on it because 240 gigabyte is not enough to store more than like two games. So I was able to get this for just $10. Although it's a little bit old, it should still be good because I tested it and it should be in healthy condition. And the graphics card. Uh, I kind of overpay for this. This is a GTX 1050 low power edition, two gigabyte, which I was able to get for $160. Yeah, I know it's not the best price for the, the graphics card, but considering I got this combo for really cheap, 120 bucks, I think it would compensate for this being a little bit expensive. And the GPU is shorted right now. People are willing to buy this for like $200 on Facebook Marketplace. So yeah, that's the graphics card. And lastly, the case, the Cooler Master Q500L, which I was able to get for around 78 bucks. I never used this case before. I, I did use the Q300L, which is pretty similar, but one downside to this is that people say it's not a very good airflow case, even though it has all the mesh as you can see, but I want to try it out and I want to use a case where the power supply gets mounted here and then connected to the back like right here. And since this power supply in this case, this computer is really skinny, I think that it will look really great if I just vertical mount the GPU. I'll quickly show a price tally for today's build up on the screen. So right now we have hit a chassis and chewed error and I'm gonna show you guys how to bypass it if you're also doing a build like this. So what you do is right here, you see this, uh, these three pins here. Over here, you will find a cable like this that's plugged in. What you do is you remove it and you just kind of replace it with a jumper like this. You can find them for like a dollar or two for a bag on AliExpress or Amazon. And I had this laying around from like other broken motherboards I had before. And what I do is I just insert it in those two 
and the message should disappear. Gosh, guys, this build turned out amazing for just a little bit over 300 US dollars. It got all the RGB and stuff, and it's performing great.
Alright guys, that was the $300 USD budget gaming PC. I can't believe how well this build turned out, and I'm going to try to flip this PC for 500 Canadian dollars. The only downside to this build is the OEM power supply I use, as it does not have a lot of wattages, so upgradeability will be super limited. But you could always spend an extra 20 to 30 dollars to get a fairly good power supply, used or sometimes brand new. But with the current power supply, you could definitely upgrade the GPU up to a GTX 1650, which would give you a pretty big performance uplift up to 50%. But GTX 1650s are way overpriced in the current GPU market. Even the GTX 1050 I used in today's build is a little bit overpriced. Usually I will only pay around $100 for a GTX 1050 2GB. As for the GTX 1650, the maximum I will pay is $180 because it's only a bit faster than the GTX 1050 Ti and that card I will only pay up to $150 for it. Now with all that being said, if you liked the video, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you didn't, still give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because it will help me out a lot.